Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to get your Google Classroom set up. We will discuss how to create your class, how to get your students added, how to invite other teachers, and an overview of what you can do with Classroom. To get started, open up Google Chrome. I highly suggest that you do not use any other browser other than Chrome. The features of Google Classroom work much more smoothly in Chrome than in other browsers. In your address bar, type in classroom.google.com. Since I have used Classroom before, I see all the classes I have created or been invited to. If you've never used it before, your screen might look different at this point. To create your class, click the plus sign in the top right corner and select Create Class. You will need to enter a class name. The section is optional. If you're a secondary teacher, you might want to put your period numbers here. If you're an elementary teacher, you might want to put the school year for section. Then click Create. Here is your Google Classroom. First thing you might want to change is the theme or appearance. You can do that by clicking Select Theme. You can also upload a photo of your own, but I'll show you what it's like to select a theme. There are images and patterns you can choose from. Once you've found one you like, click on it, and then click Select Class Theme. Right now we are in the stream. This is where all of your announcements and assignments are posted. I always tell students that this is the most important part of Classroom. If you have assignments that are due soon, you and the students will see them up here. To post an assignment, announcement, or question, you will click the plus sign on the bottom right of the stream. The next tab here in the middle is your Students tab. To add students to your class, you can do two things. The easiest thing to do is give them this class code. When they come to Google Classroom, they'll click that plus sign, just like you did, and it will prompt them to enter a code. The other way to add them is to invite them. If you click the Invite button, you can search for individual students here. You can also create a contact group in Google Contacts, then invite them all at once but that process is for a separate video. If you directly invite your students, when they come to classroom.google.com, your class will pop up and they will be prompted to join. Once your students have started to join your class, either by code or invitation, you will see them start to appear in the Students tab. Something else that is very important about this tab is this setting at the top. The default is that students have permission to post and comment to your stream. That means they can make announcements and comment on your announcements and assignments. I usually change this setting to only teacher can post and comment until I've had the discussion with my students about appropriate behavior in this type of online environment. Another tool on the students page is this actions button. I can check the box next to a student's name and the actions button will be activated. Here I'm able to remove the student from my class. If we had email turned on I'd be able to do that. I can also mute them. If I allow students to post and comment to the stream and Jonathan Smith here is misbehaving I can mute him or take away only his rights to post and comment. The last tab at the top is the about tab. Generally, I don't find it necessary to enter information on this page, but you could enter a title and a class description. You can add materials at the bottom here that will remain here as long as the class exists. If you have a class syllabus or documents that constantly need to be accessed, this could be a good place to post them. You can also invite other teachers to this page. If you have another teacher who you co-teach with, or a prep teacher, or just someone you want to share your classroom with, you can invite them here. If you invite a teacher, they are able to post assignments and see the students work. Okay, that's your basic overview of Google Classroom Setup. I will record another video on how to post announcements, assignments, and questions to the stream, and I'll link it below. Thanks for watching!